making more progress on the car here and there. Obviously, the injectors and the whole blower and heat exchanger assembly are out. Uh, those are up at my friend Brett's shop. He owns and operates Joker's Performance out of Ashcombe, Illinois. Uh, that's been there for about a week, so hopefully we should have the blower back here pretty soon. Um, the ice box is currently taken apart, and so is most of the trunk, at least how the water lines were set up uh, since I've been busy redoing that, making sure everything's perfect on it. And as you can see, all of the trunk linings, the false floor, and the fuel cell and fuel cell brace covers have all been reinstalled. Um, I just wanted to make this look a little bit more OEM. I still need to find a way to reinforce the floor uh, since generally, or usually the spare tire itself actually reinforces the false floor. Um, but I did get my bulkheads run through. My lines, these are all dash 12. I got all the Fergola fittings from Scram uh, since they're local and they're great to work with. But took apart the top of this, uh, the whole lid and gasket off of it. Uh, got to pull the ice box itself back out because I'm going to have this repowder coated because it's kind of dinged and scratched up and just not looking the absolute best. But I did get this as a used piece because it's an ice box. Did have to go ahead and re-thread this in uh, 1 8th NPT so I could put my temperature sensor in flush. But aside from that, I think the trunk looks pretty nice. I'm going to end up pulling this all back apart anyways because I still need to figure out my feed line to the pump underneath the false floor since the bulkhead is much taller on the underside, uh, which is pretty normal. But that's going to be a really tight fit. And uh, I also am going to end up dynamatting or kill matting the entire underside of the trunk. On top of that, I'm also going to be finishing out the suede on the interior of the car. Uh, I've got two or three sets of uh, rear door cards. I guess you could call them door cards, but rear interior trim. Um, and I'm going to bin whichever is the nice set out of the three panels. I've already got the original factory bolt-in style, uh, which this is something interesting and mildly infuriating. There's actually two different uh, joining styles that they used in these door panels. Uh, one is what I would call a bolt-in or a screw-in style, and the other one is a molded, um, heat-melted plastic style. I would much rather prefer the screw-in style because they're much more easily removable. You don't stress the panel removing it or trying to reinstall it with heat, trying to remelt 15-plus-year-old plastic, which is something I'm not a big fan of myself. But alas, uh, that'll all be hopefully wrapped up here shortly. I've got the new... Well, not the new, but the nicest set I've got right now uh, over at Beck's Country Shop, which is my usual upholstery and interior shop for stuff like this. And that whole project stems from this wear right here on the inside of the door card. This has driven me nuts for years. I've got an identical match, or uh, almost ide perfectly identical uh, wear mark on the driver's side, which just always annoy the absolute shit out of me. So I'm going to end up going ahead and cleaning up, deciding which one of these is the nicest. I'm also going to be dynamating behind uh, the panels in here. I guess you could call them the rear door cards. Um, and just this outside portion will be orange suede. The actual lower portion where you would rest your arm, if there was a back seat, will not be. That will be uh, the OEM black stitched leather. But I'm also going to be dynamating again behind this and underneath the rear seat delete to hopefully quiet the car down just a touch. And in case you're wondering why I'm dynamating the inside of a mostly factory interior car, uh, that's that's pretty much all the sound ending aside from uh, what you normally get from the rear seats. So they just kind of hucked a block of foam, two in there, and then they stuffed some sound deadening in here. That's pretty much it. This isn't even completely fully attached. This is just kind of half ass glued down. Yeah, it's just glued down right there. So this will probably get removed. I'll probably dynamat around uh, these foam blocks and then reinstall them as factory because these are also dated actually, which is kind of neat. I've actually never had, this is the first for me, I've never had the rear door cards off. Uh, and I would believe that they had never been off. So, well, we'll go ahead and get some dynamat ordered and, uh, Get the box down to powder coating and get my new interior trim panels back to reinstall my door cards and we'll go from there.